What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Rogue Tuesday, and today we are looking at a Mega Heracross Sceptile deck. And yes, I said Mega Heracross, which nobody really ever talks about here, but today we will show Mega Heracross some love, and especially since I love grass Pokemon, even though Shaman, you are a normal type on the video game or on TCG currently right now. We know that you're grass type in all of our hearts. So thank you, Shaman, for being a grass type. Um uh, but today let's well let's go for our attacker. We already pulled we already had him pulled up here. We have a Mega Heracross. It has 220 HP, so a lot of HP. Has more than Mega Manitric, which is probably our most played Mega currently right now. But it has the attack Big Bang Horn. It does 180 damage minus 10 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So if somebody smacks you for 180 damage, you actually do zero damage with Mega Heracross. So you might be like, well, that's a really bad idea. It seems like a really bad attack. But today I'm going to show how you can make Mega Heracross works. And the only bad thing is you can't one-shot Megas as your own. You can one-shot the Kyogre and the Groudon, but you can't one-shot like a Gardevoir. You can't one-shot a Mega Manetric, but those steals, they're not going to be a problem. We're going to go through this. We're going to Big Bang Horn, everybody, and we're going to win the game with this Mega Heracross. Now, regular Heracross has 107 HP, pretty normal. Guard Press, 40. You, you, The damage is reduced by 40 next turn by, the, uh, by your opponent. And Giga Power, 80, and if you do... 40 more damage, you do 20 damage to yourself, which could be cool because you can use it as a final attacker to knock out a Shaman EX. Let's say, because usually your one Mega Heracross, it's going to be it. That's your, it's going to be it. That's going to be your attacker for the rest of the game. That Mega Heracross better survive, or you're going to lose because there's no link for a Mega Heracross. But this Heracross can make you, maybe take you the last two prizes on a Shaman if you can. Power him up in, uh, well, not one turn. He definitely needs, well, he, I mean, maybe one turn. If you have a double septile and a hair cross, you could power him up one turn. You can put three energies on it. Lysen up a Shaman. A Giga Power for 120. Knock out a Shaman and take 20 damage on yourself. But you can win the game that way. You play two Shaman to help set up, of course. John, you have six cards in your hand. And we play a 2-2-2 two, two, two Sceptile line. Now, you just heard me talk about how you can power up a Mega hair cross in one turn with Sceptile. But Sceptile has the ability to Nurture and Heal. Once during your turn before you attack, you may attach a Grass Energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon if you deal with like a thir heal 30 damage from that Pokemon. And also Sceptile has Jungle Edge, which does 70 damage straight up. Now, okay, so you Nurture and Heal, which lets you attach a Grass Energy from your hand to a Mega Heracross. If you have Double Sceptile, you can Double Attach and put a Grass Energy. But if you look, Mega Heracross has three energies. On your first turn, what you can do is attach the Grass Energy, Mega Evolve to end your turn. Next turn, you can Nurture and Heal if they smack you. Attach like a Herbal Energy, heal some more damage. Maybe have a Healing Scarf, healing even more damage. That's what, 20, 40, 60. That's 60 damage already healed off. And if you have another Sceptile, you can heal another 20, which is 80 right there, which is great. So, Sceptile, oh no, it's 30. 30, 30, sorry, 30. I mean, 30, and make sure we did the math right. Oh, 60, even better. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. 3, 6, 7, 8. The healing scarf messed everything up in my math. But so 3, 6, 7, 8. You can heal 80 damage off one turn. Uh, maybe 3, 6, 9, 10, 11 without even including super potions right now. So you can see how you can heal off this Mega Heracross. You know, you have all these healing capabilities in this deck, which is great. And now uh, we just play a 2 2 Septile line. Usually one is fine. If you got the second one, that's great as well. And like I said, the 2 2 Heracross, you could bump it up to 3 2, but 2 2 seems fine. As long as the one Heracross does not get knocked out, you're going to be, you're going to win the game. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I mean, I've been doing pretty good with the deck online as well. Uh, just like I said, there's no Spear Link for Mega Heracross. So when you end, when you Mega Evolve, you do have to end your turn, which is the only downside. But hopefully, we have some ways to kind of go around that. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. Now, we do play two energy retrievals, and I'll go over those here in a second. We play two love balls, stretch stick for Pokemon with 9 HP or less. They can get you a Trico and a Groovow. You could cut a love ball to add a Birch. Uh, maybe cut both love balls to add a Birch, because right now it doesn't seem that great, especially when only you need one Sceptile. One Professor Lady to help you search out grass energies. Four, sup four Super Potions heals 60 damage from one of your Pokemon. If you do, discard an energy attached to that Pokemon, but that is not a big deal. You're going to Super Potion. Discard that grass energy, and then you can energy retrieval to get to put two basic energy cards from discard pile into your hand. 
So that way you can get back those grass energies, which is a great combo. And then, of course, you can attach one and then you use the Sceptile Nurture and Heal to heal 30. Uh, and so you heal 90 damage just off of Super Potion right there. So Super Potion, 90 damage, and then Healing Scarf, Healing Scarf 110. And then if you have an Herbal Energy attachment for your turn, you're doing 140. So you can heal 140 just off that cool combo. But it is kind of hard to pull, uh, to pull off. Uh, but... You know, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And, uh, you know, I just, I'm realizing something right now. We'll go over what I'm talking about here in a second because it's definitely a weird thing in my list currently. And I just noticed because I thought I played three or something, but I only played one. All right, but we have two switch. And this is just in case the Lysander a Sceptile because he does have a two retreat cost. You could double attach and then retreat, but, you know, just in case. And you, if they do Lysander Shaman and you need to serve a Grass Energy attachment for the turn, you could switch out the Shaman. Now, you, I just talked about how I said I saw something. I definitely have one Trainer's Mill in here, and I was like, I thought I played three, but I don't. I only play one. So I'm definitely, you can cut a Trainer's Mill for a Birch. Yeah, just cut a Trainer's Mill for a Birch. Now you're playing four Birch and four Sycamore. Or if you want Trainer's Mill, what you can do is cut a Lava Ball. You can cut a Birch. And you can cut a Professor Letter. Those are all fine cards to cut. And then you can add a three Trainer's Mail. And that's probably why I would have cut. I, if I realized it sooner, it was just a silly mistake on me playing the deck. We're going to add Trainer's Mail in here right now. And then I can talk over it. Uh, but yeah, we should definitely have these three Trainer's Mail in the deck. I'm not sure what happened when I was building the deck. And that explains why I didn't draw two Trainer's Mail a lot while making this video. But that's fine. Whatever. Uh, trainer's Mail. Look at the top four cards of your deck. Reveal a training card you find in there and put it into your hand. Now, if you still want two level balls, you can cut a, a fourth ultra ball for a second level ball. But like I said, the one and or zero level ball could be fine. It's, it's perfectly fine without it. You could cut a level ball and put another birch. Uh, it's up to you. It's you know, it's always interchangeable. It's up to you when you make this list how you want to make them. It. it just shows how I guess creative Pokemon is. Like one card can change the list so dramatically. Like if you cut an Ultra Ball, you could play a second Love Ball or fourth Birch, and that could change the game dramatically. Just depending, you know, if you drew that Birch, you're like man, if there's an Ultra Ball, could have this, or if this Love Ball could have this. It's always really cool. But let's go back on target. Uh, four Ultra Ball to search out your Pokemon, of course. Four VS Secret to reuse supporter cards. Two Lysander, bring a Pokemon off the bench. And of course, if you don't like two Lysanders, you could cut one. I always like two in decks nowadays, just in case you do prize one. And even in Expanded, I still like two Lysanders. And, you know, if you can fit two Lysanders in it, please do that. One Pokemon Simulator. And if you're new to this channel, whenever you play Pokemon Simulator, she has to be four because this is the best four in the game. I will put my money down. Always right next to me on my little shelf is a Full Art Sin Lady because this is the best card. I don't own any Full Arts except for Sin Lady because this card is the best. It has won me so many games and I love it. I played in so many decks. But it heals 60 damage and remove all special conditions from one of your Pokemon. So not only do you have Super Potions, you have the Sceptile, you have the Herbal Energies, you have the, ceiling, the Healing Scarf. You have a Sin Lady to heal 6 damage as well and you can... Just Verse Seeker for a which is great. You can just Verse Seeker, grab that 60 damage, and you don't have to discard energy, which is why I love Center Lady. Oh, man, every time she's in the deck, and I just get really happy, and we're just going to play Center Lady and call it a day. But three birds, flip a coin of heads, draw seven, draw, and tells draw four. Of course, you shuffle your hand into your deck. I don't know why I didn't say that at first. Uh, four Sycamore, discard your hand, draw seven. And we play four of four Force of Giant Plants, which lets you grass Pokemon evolve on their first turn. And like I said, you know, we don't play we don't play Spirit Leaks in here, but that's fine. Because what we could do turn one is we could just Mega Evolve. Turn one, it's like having the uh, Delta Evolution, but just in a in a stadium. So you can Mega Evolve turn one. Get your Mega Hair Cross out. Big Bang. Well, you can't Big Bang Horn. You get Big Bang Horn the next turn if possible. Two Healing Scarf, which I've talked about so much. Oh, uh, when you attach an energy from your hand to this card. Okay, sorry. When you attach an energy card from your hand to the Pokemon this card is attached to, it heal 20 damage. Uh, so, if you heal, if you attach the grass energy, you can heal 20 damage, which is great. And then you have Sceptile and all this, you know, you're just healing so much all of your Pokemon, which is great. Or Herbal Energy, when you attach, you can only attach this to grass Pokemon, first of all. That's the key thing to note. You heal 30 damage. 
Now, one thing you can't do is you can't nurture and heal an herbal energy onto Mega Heracross because this is not a grass energy, it is an herbal energy. So that's why you cannot do it. Do, you, you know, you can't heal 60 damage that way. If you could, that'd be great. Uh, but I don't know how they can tell it'd be grass energy. It's, I don't know, it's some kind of weird wording. But it does not work, but still, we're going to be okay with that. And a grass synergies of course we'll play a lot of these because you want to use nurture heal over and over again you get discard them with super super potions get it back with the energy retrieval and i like it overall and that's why i cut the letter because we played 12 grass already that's that's enough grass as it is but i hope you enjoyed this video i really really do enjoy this deck mayor Her mega hair cross is just so much fun I, I liked him in the anime a lot when ash got him as well so you know he's always kind of stuck with me since since then but hope you enjoyed this video and let's see this deck in action all right, playing against Mind G Ming One A Seven, playing a Lightning Water Colors, which makes me think that they are playing a Manetric deck. So our turn, we are going first. We start a Trico. We get Ultra Ball. Grab a Hair Cross. We just gotta hope something. Hopefully, he has something good to discard turn one. Okay, keep shaming our hand, of course. And we'll Ultra Ball discard Ultra Ball in the Verse Seeker, grabbing a Hair Cross. Putting down the hair call, Shaman, drawing up to three. Drainer's Mill. Oh, buddy. For a Sycamore. Mm. We'll put a Grass Synergy to the hair cross, and we'll just pass right now. If we had a Force of Giants plant, that'd be great. Now, the only thing that's going to be hard about these Manetra's deck is they have 210 HP, which is... We're never going to one-shot it, and then we see a Lightning Energy going out to the Manetric. We can see an Overrun to a 22 Trico and 20 to the hair cross. Uh, okay, all right, all right. There we see a Lysander bringing up Shaymay. I'm actually fine with this. I don't want my Tricos and my Mega Heracross to be targeted together. I'm fine with him taking a, a quick knockout on this Pokemon. We see 40 on Shaman and 20 probably. Oh, to the Trico. See, he doesn't know what uh what good old Mega Heracross does. So put an Herbal Energy to Heracross, Gruval Heracross, and in our turn, the big question of the day: Does my opponent have a Link and a Mega Heracross? If he doesn't have either one of those and he decides to knock out the shaman, we can send up the hair cross and big bang horn for 180 damage. We see a hand stammer. Discarding an herbal energy, that's okay. We see a spear a, a manetric EX come down. And will we see oh shaman drawn up to three? Okay. Will we see a link and a mega manetric? My opponent has all these floor cards too. Proud of him. We see a water energy. It looks like we're going to see a salt laser for the knockout. But can we knock out this Manetric this turn? That's the big question. Be a question of the day. Can we do that? I don't know. And we're going to see a salt laser here for a knockout. Probably. He hasn't played his support yet. Maybe he's trying to decide, you know, what's a good play? Do I salt laser? Or do I pass? Or do I play a supporter card? But here we see a sycamore. Let's see what he was debating. Uh, Manetri a Mega Manetric Toad and Enhanced Hammer, okay? And a full art Birch. Why he didn't Birch? Birch is like the best card in the game. Why would you not Birch? But we see 122 our Shaman. Can we get a knockout with this Mega Hair Cross this turn? If we do, we can put my opponent so far behind. We see a Lovable getting out another Trico. Putting another Trico. Sycamore. Alright, we get the Sceptile. We can nurture and heal, but we're going to Ultra Ball discard the Lady and the Birch. Hopefully, Shebe is in there, and he is in there right now. Alrighty, we will nurture and heal, attach the Grass Energy to the Mega Heracross. Shebe drawn up to four. Get the Herbal Energy, and we will Big Bang Horn for 180. Take that Manetric EX. Alrighty, we're on a roll. And if you notice... I attached the I nurture and heal the grass energy first because like I said earlier you can't nurture and heal an herbal energy because it's not a grass energy so make sure you keep that in mind right now we have three super potion in our hand so if my opponent does decide to be aggressive um, and try to do some damage with this manetric he could let me see a grass energy another question hammer has so, so get rid of two energies does he have another enhanced hammer that'd be devastating just get rid of all of her energies. But it's kind of weird. He sends up a Manetric when he saw the power of Mega Heracross last turn. When we Big Bang Horn, his Manetric X. There we see a DC go down to Red Eyes. And pro as long as he doesn't Mega Evolve right here. Do not Mega Evolve. Mang Ming I'm not sure his name's name. 
Ming Mang 187. Don't don't Mega Ball us. Oh, buddy. He hasn't played a supporter card yet either, and he has plenty of burst seekers. He's only played one Sycamore. Uh, too bad Sycamores aren't full art. Bom bom. No, see, we're just waiting to see what in mine G Ming does to us. Now, if this Red Eyes does start attacking us, it makes it where obviously we can't hurt it because it, uh, you know, resistance Blizzard is not affected by a Mega Pokemon, and we might have to go with Sceptile. Get him, Cammy! Oh, never mind. Cammy didn't get him. Cammy, you always let us down. You always, you know, we might attack, but we're not going to. Okay, the DC comes off the Red Eyes. Very interesting choice by my opponent. Not really sure why. And Lightning is going on to the Manetric EX. And we just see a Mega Ball for the turn. Okay. Do we have a Lysander? Oh, we do. Oh, we do. What do we do? Okay, well, Energy will get two Grass Energies. <coughs> Nurture and Heal, a Grass Energy. Attach a Grass Energy. I'm actually just going to go for Big Bang Horn. Uh, do 180 damage. And then next turn, we can pretty much just heal all the damage off this Mega Heracross and knock out this, uh, this another Mega Manetric. He has played two Crushing Hammers, and he did flip both heads. It's kind of annoying, but it happens in Pokemon Land. Um, nothing too big. Well, let's see. We have only one Herbal in the Discard Paw and one in play. And we have six other Grass. So we have six Grass and two Herbals. So we should be able to heal this Mega Heracross all the way up. We could do Double Super Potion, which heals 120 overall after he hits us for 110. So even though you think that Mega Manetric might be a mad, bad matchup, if you just have a really good hand, you can just easily win. I Okay, there we see a Lightning Engine come down to the Manetric EX, and we'll probably see a Turbo Bolt. Probably, and not probably, it, we will see a Turbo Bolt. The big question on our end, do we Verse Seeker and grab a Sycamore? Hmm. Trying to think. Let's see. We're, okay, we'll just wait to see what my opponent does. Our hand could change. Oh, he can't play Ace Trainer, so our hand cannot change. It just depends what we top deck. I'm not going to lie. Let me see a Light Center. He actually brings up Shaman here. Oh, my goodness. I'm actually okay with this. Because now we don't have to waste our Super Potions. We can just sit up the Mega Heracross, use the Big Bang Horn, knock out this Manetric Gex. And my opponent really can't take a knockout next turn on our Mega Heracross unless there's some kind of crazy play I, I don't see right now. So our turn, we will just Big Bang Horn for 180 damage, take two prize cards. I was just looking for an energy. Okay. All right, all right, all right. But this, uh, this red dice will come up for sure. Big question: Can we top deck uh, an energy? <laughs> if we can top deck an energy, we can knock out Shaman, I think. Yeah. Oh no, I think we can knock out Shaman regardless. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because we're gonna do one eighty and then minus seventy, which is one ten. But you know what? We, we know what we're gonna do. We're gonna super potion, hill of grass, and, you know, discard a grass energy. Uh, energy retrieval, get back a grass energy. Nurture and heal. We're going to go full damage output on this Mega Heracross. We could have knocked him out regardless because, you know, 170 minus 180 is 110, which Shaman has 110. But regardless, we're going to Light Center, bring up Shebe and Big Hit Bang Horn for 180 damage, taking a win against the Mega Manetric Red Ice deck, which might seem like an all loss. And it's it's really shaky if they do just decide to go aggressive with one red ice and they just attack with red ice over and over again and they constantly you know resistance blizzard resistance blizzard resistance blizzard because then you have to start attacking with septile but then septile can heal itself and you have super potions as well and you're both doing 70 damage and it's, it's a weird matchup for sure but hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching hope you learned something new about this mega hair across septile deck uh you know grass pokemon always have a place in my heart and we have done this video before it was a very 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 long time ago when septile got first when he got first printed uh but now he's got some new friends with the um with the force of giants plant which makes it cool because you can't get a turn one septile and easily powered up but hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching hope you have a great tuesday Alrighty.